Thank you, Nick, for coming on to the stand. And I look forward to hearing about your top tips to handle a GP14. OK. Um, well, I must admit, I've only sold a GP14 for a week. So I wouldn't say I know everything about sailing a GP, but uh, I've sold lots of other boats. So I guess we came in with you know, maybe slightly different ideas. So we'll share what we did, and it might work, and it might not work. Um, I mean, what we found upwind, certainly, with the GP is you've got a very uh, wide slot between the jib and the main um, so to get it pointing uh, we were very heavy on jib sheet tension um, so as soon as we were both hiked our crew was pulling in the jib with one hand and I was helping as well so we found jib sheet tension really key and, and just a lot of it um, and then uh, most of my top tips were about sailing it when it was windy because we were very lucky that we sailed it in Barbados and it was always windy so that was fantastic um, and then upwind we found the, the kicker was very key um, for putting the right amount of power through the rig. We found as soon as we were overpowered we'd use a bit more kicker um, and the nice thing is it would depower, make the boat easier to sail flat, we'd point a little bit higher um, and also it would mean I wasn't spilling the main as much. I found if I wasn't using enough kicker I was spilling the main a lot and if the main's out a lot it's just drag because the sail's flogging all the time. Um, and slowing you up. So I guess a lot of our, it was very simple in the end, a lot of our rotation was around jib sheet tension and kicker. Um, and I think what's key is that we were uh, adjusting that quite a lot. So we weren't just leaving it set. So adjusting the kicker quite a lot to try and, um, to try and keep the boat nicely powered up, but without being uh, too overpowered upwind. So I guess that was what our upwind was rotating around. So fairly simple really, which um, I think is sometimes best when you're, when you're new to a boat. Brilliant. Brilliant. Everyone nice and friendly? Absolutely. Beautiful. If, 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 you, if you don't know people, everyone's friendly. You get to know people over a pint. Yeah. It's all good. Buy them a drink and they'll be your friends for life. Uh, or they'll buy you. Not that I bought anyone a drink, but you know, whatever. <laughs>
our GPs, going for it, they've got six socials, they have quality cruising, quality racing, the racing's f***ing top notch.